gaming chairs um, sent us, uh, really nicely of them, they sent us one of their gaming chairs to try and test. Um, this model is the Throttle series, it's all in black, it's just arrived today, so we're going to unbox it, we're going to put it together and we're going to test it out and uh, see how it is, but I'm super excited to get this, uh, this unboxed, so let's get to it shall we? So obviously don't get some knives and cut into it because you know it is a chair, you don't want to destroy it, so I'm really excited about this. So uh, let's see what's in here and uh, let's get putting it together. So as you can see, we've got the base, the wheelbase, lumbar support, backrests, we've got the action mechanisms down here, um, and a box full of goodies to put this all together, oh, and the headrest there. So let's get building. <laughs>
And just like that, with a change of clothes, <laughs> the window's now open, because it got very hot in here, we've built the gaming chair. Um, and at first sitting, it feels amazing. Honestly, the, the, the cushioning, the I've got to sort the positioning out, but at the moment the positioning is great. I love the fact you can move these uh, forward and back really nice and feels like a solid build to it as well. Um, you know, I love the fact you can lean as well, just like lean back. Um, just It feels, you've got the, I've got the lumbar spot on as well, which is, I, I believe is memory foam, but it feels like memory foam. You've got the headrest as well here, and just at first sitting, it feels fantastic. So. <laughs> So currently I'm sitting in my old gamer chair which is a bit battered and a bit abused. Um, you know, I've uh, had it for about a year um, and there's been a lot of rage moments. I've moved it everywhere so you know it's, it's coming apart slowly but surely and it is of the budget type so it's not a premium gaming chair. So we need to get this one out of here and get the new one in. So let's do it. There we have it, it's in. And honestly I've set this up a bit more now for my set up at least um and it's just it's perfect like the arms obviously you can like every chair like gaming chair you come across you can lift them up and down but it feels a lot more solid than previous chairs i've had um obviously you can lift them back and forward which will help with the the gaming setup um the, I've set it up nicely now, so like I can, it should be able to good for streaming and good for um, for, for gaming as well. Um, and the lumbar support really helps. I mean, some people decide not to have the lumbar support in, um, but I, I decide that I, I do because I'm, I'm very slouchy at times. Um, it's got good range on it. Um, I don't know how far, yeah, that's a while back I can go at the moment. So you can bring it up um, to where you need it. It should be there. Yeah, it's, it, it feels super comfy. And in terms of movability, it, there's no squeaks at the moment. Obviously, it being a brand new chair, that you'd hope that there wouldn't be. Um, it's got a nice um, sort of rocking motion. Um, it's a bit heavy to rock, but again, I think that comes down to build quality. I genuinely think you can sit here for hours on end because the cushion is really just soaking up my weight. You know, and I, again, I'm a big lad, so <laughs> I weigh a bit. Um, with the other chair I had, there was not enough padding, not enough cushioning. So after a year or so of owning it, it felt a bit flat. If I could feel the 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 base of the chair on my bum, so it really became uncomfortable sitting there, working from home, uh, gaming. You know, I was in this chair for good on 10 hours um 10 maybe more hours and i just genuinely feel that this is going to be a chair where i can sit here for a 24-hour gaming marathon <laughs> and not get uncomfortable i don't think i'd want to be anywhere else i think i'm going to live in this chair um now in terms of um the build and how fast i did it one i'm a bit of an idiot so maybe sometimes i uh i, I was overthinking something or um butterfingers was dropping screws so i think I, it took around about 15 minutes or so to put together um the instructions were clear in the in the manual that comes with it um the bolts um the screws you know everything that you put into the chair felt like good quality metals so it doesn't feel like they're going to round off um, really quickly or they didn't feel like they're going to break under any pressure. Um, you know, I did tighten it up quite tight because um, I didn't want to get in the chair and it to collapse and this to be a fail video <laughs> rather than a tried and tested video but overall the build time and how easy the chair was put, to put together you know under half an hour. Let's give them some TGGs, shall we? Now, build time and how easy it is to assemble. I would definitely give it an 8 out of 10 
TGGs. Um, the reason I've marked it as an 8 is because it is quite easy to assemble. Um, some bits can be a bit fiddly like the base so maybe you might need someone else to help you out with that um, and also it is quite a heavy chair which is great because it is robust but again you might need someone else to help you with maybe lifting the chair or, or something else um, when it comes to building. Um, in terms of maneuverability um, definitely definitely a nine TGGs um, because it, it is a bit heavy on the on the on the uh, rocking side of things. However, that might be because it's new and it might need to be broken in. So nine TGGs for that. In terms of comfort, definitely a ten out of ten TGGs because not only do you have the lumbar support, the neck support, but you've got the cushioning for your bum. Uh, the cushioning is quite thick. It feels like memory foam. I don't know if it is, so don't quote me on that, but it is super, super comfortable. So 10 TGGs for that. Um, in terms of design, it, you know, it is a generic kind of design that everyone has, the racing style bucket seat um, design. However, the thing what they're doing is their color schemes and how the design of it like the pink one here, um, is, is is second to none. So the design is amazing, but also the PewDiePie um, seat that they've worked with uh, PewDiePie on looks brilliant and it is so unique. Um, so I genuinely feel the design of it is great, especially with like the clutch logos everywhere. Um, I think the design is brilliant. So for me, I'm giving the design an eight TGGs as well, because you know, Th there's always stuff extra that you can do in terms of design, you know, little bits here, but, um, and build quality finally is 10 G TGGs because it just feels like it can take a bit of a rage moment. <laughs> and I am one to rage. Uh, maybe hit in the arm or whatever. I try not to hit the desk because the desk is a bit flimsy. So maybe I, I'll, I'll smash through the desk. You know, Hulk smash that. Um, I'll try not to hit this as well because this is an amazing chair. But it feels like, you know, you can knock it about a little bit and it's not going to get broken. It's not going to get damaged. Um, and it feels like, you know, it, it's just going to be a great, chair for years to come so there you have it there is our tried and tested review on clutch gaming chairs throttle edition um please do check them out in the description below all the links are there uh my name's differential um you can go check out my links in uh, uh in the description below as well also the game guide go subscribe to the game guide the magazine should be live as we speak now so go check out the latest edition of the magazine um, check out the features we've got and please do share this about give it a like subscribe to the channel that sort of thing so look for now i'm going to get gaming in this so i'll see you later